Hi, it's Chris from Air Windows, and as it is Sunday, I have a plug-in for you. And it's probably not too hard to guess what it is. Last week, I came out with a plug-in called Ultrasonic, which is not the only plug-in out there called Ultrasonic, but I think it is one of the better ones. In fact, uh, the uh, fellow who kind of inspired the creation of the plugin uh, from Tokyo Dawn, uh, one of their EQ plugins does, in some cases, a better job of ultrasonic filtering than their brick wall plugin, because I chose to do not a brick wall filter, but just a um, tenth order Butterworth filter for my ultrasonic filtering. And what we've got here is Infrasonic. That's right. You get both of the Sonics. And uh, I can show you how this works. Firstly, let me get some music going. You can see that this is producing bass, although it's actually kind of uh, around 80 or so hertz. And that's because this is a analog uh, synthesizer jam. And this is what I do on Thursdays and some other days. Trouble is, this is off of an analog mixing desk that doesn't give you the same kinds of unwanted subsonic information that digital audio workstations like to give you. So I can cut in infrasonic, but it's not really going to do anything visible because we're not really getting problem audio there. I can cut in ultrasonic because this is a 96k recording. And you can see what that does. But we're not distorting this, we're just listening to it. So I thought what I should do is fire up a different plugin. And this will give us the subsonics that we need. This is called Voice of the Starship. And it's an older plugin that I've got. And generates um, a kind of background noise in an interesting and characteristic way. So what this is doing, and note, I think you can see the meters there. This is producing a sort of low frequency rumble and I can set the filter to give more in the way of highs and stuff. But what it's doing is the algorithm here is giving us a lot of extremely deep lows. And it's not being filtered into doing it, that's just what the algorithm does. So the idea is that this sounds like, you know, a Starship Enterprise bridge or something like that. But this algorithm doesn't have a built-in super steep filter, so what you can see is that the peaks of super low frequency stuff are getting way up there. This is the bassiest low frequency rumble one that I could find. It's number 15. I can do other ones that behave differently. And Voice of the Starship is also available to you. You can just download that. But go to this and we can really start seeing some subsonic bumps. If I move this out of the way, we'll see that uh, we're getting a lot of energy way down here. And this is what infrasonic is for. So observe the peaks we're getting and observe what it's showing on the meters. If I turn on the infrasonic control, it is immediately more restrained and our peak energy is not nearly as high. Now one of the things, also you'll notice that there is a crazy little overtone up here and that's again because of this algorithm. It's not a usual, it's not being done with filtering, it's just a weird algorithm causing this to happen. So we can kick in ultrasonic and that'll neatly and very thoroughly get rid of that too. And there you have it. Infrasonic is the follow-up to ultrasonic because it's literally the opposite frequency extreme. It is not a uh, peak limiter in any sense. So if you take a noisy signal that's within a certain amplitude range 
and you throw infrasonic on there, you might actually make the peaks go higher than they were before because it's reshaping where the base is going. That is something, sometimes something that will happen. But it is doing its job, and it's the same algorithm. It's the same five biquad filters stacked on top of each other that ultrasonic is. So there you have it. And then I can take them back off, and we'll go back to the raw uh, voice of the starship sound for this particular audio. And I don't know if that you hear a difference there. I have some pretty respectable headphones. I couldn't say as I really hear a change in that so much, but this is visibly and obviously doing a thing in both cases. Or we could go back to the audio. I bet you thought I could only do the same piece of uh, rock music over and over again. I'll try to get new pieces of rock music going. Unfortunately, I don't have time because I have so many plugins to make. But uh, with this, we can turn off ultrasonic and infrasonic as well. And you'll hear that since it's designed to be only affecting the frequency range in human hearing, you probably won't hear a difference. You can see a difference, especially with ultrasonic being kicked in. But you probably won't hear a difference directly. And well, there you have it, really. So Infrasonic is another free plugin out of Air Windows. They are free plugins because I'm supported by Patreon. There's enough people who are doing okay that they can throw some money my way and I can help make sure that everybody else is doing okay. Of which I have many plans, like many interesting plans for how to do that. For instance, I am still working on my grand notion to get everybody playing with synthesizers and building their own. So like, I can be coming up with kinds of wire like this, and uh, buy myself a little wire so that I have enough to be able to distribute to people who might want to start working on making synthesizers. So this is part of the big plan. And there's more to it as well. But I mean, this is all about me just getting this stuff together as I can. And the more I'm capable of doing, which is in part supported by the Patreon, the more I can put into action and make actually happen. So that's one of the things that you can see. Um, if you like the idea of having the kind of wire that'll plug into IC sockets and you can use for interconnects on DIY synthesizers, pretty soon you'll be able to ask me for some. And I will straight up just send you some because I have enough to spare. And that's kind of important. And I feel that's a useful thing for me to do with like the all grand Patreon and everything. It's like you ought to be able to see something out of that as well. Although it will not be patron only. It'll be on a who needs it kind of basis. And it'll be because this is the thing that I want to do. But more on that later when it continues to come into focus. For now, I hope you enjoy Infrasonic. It is not really different from Ultrasonic, but Ultrasonic went over pretty well because it performs well for a very plain vanilla little sort of filter. And there are a lot of good ways that you can get that and um, improve your mixes with it. And I'm working on upgrades for things like, you know, console, but more on that later. I'll keep busy. Thanks for the Patreon, folks, those of, those of you that are doing it. I sure hope you don't feel it's wasted energy because uh, I'm happy with the work I'm doing like this month. And we're going to have some fun over the winter, I'll tell you that. On that note, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.